the power of a believer the power of a believer somebody shout the power of a believer you cannot do effective Christian life on this earth without the power that makes a believer effective Hawezi kuwa Mkristo mwenye matokeo hapa ulimwenguni kama hauna nguvu ambayo inamfanya muumini awe na matokeo ama mazao. Somebody say the power of a believer. Sema nguvu ya muumini. Jesus knowing very well the challenges on this earth. Yesu akijua vizuri changamoto ziliko hapa duniani. He didn't want we Christians to begin the journey without the power. Hakutaka sisi wa Kristo tuanze safari kama hatuna nguvu. Demons will not hear you because you are smart. Mat smart dressed. Mapepo hayatakusikia maana umevalia vizuri. Demons will not obey you because you appear nice and cute. Mapepo hayatakutii maana unatokea kama umependeza vizuri. They only hear the voice of power. Huwa zinatii sauti yenye nguvu. And that's why I'm praying tonight. Ndio maana naomba usiku wa leo. That the potency and the power of the Holy Spirit will descend upon somebody. Kama uweza na nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu itashukia mtu mahali hapa. And he said you shall receive power. Na akasema mtapokea nguvu. When the spirit has or comes upon you. Wakati roho atakuja juu yenu. And with it or after then. Na baada ya kutendeka huko. He said you will be my proofs. Anasema mtakuwa thibitisho zangu. You will be my witnesses. Mtakuwa mashahidi wangu. So every child of God. Kila mtoto wa Mungu. We got to desire to walk in the power of the spirit. Lazima tutamani kutembea katika nguvu za roho. It is this power. Ni hii nguvu. That gives us an advantage over the enemy. Ambazo unatupatia faida dhidi ya adui. I am praying tonight. Naomba usiku wa leo. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. We will not be powerless. Hatutakuwa watu wasio na nguvu. We will not be powerless believers. Hatutakuwa waumini wasio na nguvu. We will not be powerless in the name of Jesus. Hatutakuwa watu wasio na nguvu kwa jina la Yesu. Take power. Ninagarimu nguvu. Break through in the realms of the, of of of, of stubborn conditions. Kupenya katika hali zilizokatia na vichwa ngumu. And the cause for divine power. Inagarimu nguvu ya kiungu. Even in the marketplace. Hata kule sokoni. If we are going to penetrate. Kama tutakuwa na upendo. If we are going to have an advantage over the enemy. Kama tutakuwa na faida dhidi ya adui. We got to carry power. Lazima tubebe nguvu. In the throne the Lord say don't forget the Lord your God for he is the one that gives you power to get wealth somebody say wealth is gotten you don't you don't just have it you get it but the way to getting it it is called divine power I am praying tonight that everybody in this house in the name of Jesus in the marketplace you are star will shine in the world of money you are star will shine in the world of health you are star will shine in the world of breakthroughs you will prevail Amen. somebody say Lord more power somebody say Lord more grace the power of a believer you can leave it up there no problem up there Yes. Let's clap for my interpreter and uh, and Mrs. Pastor Kariuki. She is refreshing her. Amen. May you be refreshed. In the name of Jesus. So, a believer Mumini. has to walk under divine power. Lazima tembe katika nguvu ya kiungu. If you are going to prevail Kama utaweza kufanikiwa on this world, hapa ulimwenguni. Jesus said, Yesu akasema, I'm sending you as a sheep Na watuma kama kondoo among hoofs miongoni mwa mbweha just think about that tafakari kuhusu hayo a sheep among hoofs kondoo katikati ya mbweha a sheep among hoofs kondoo katikati ya mbweha 
and then he said kisha anasema you are like a city on a hill nyinyi ni kama mji juu ya mlima that can be hidden ambao huwezi fichika what does that mean hii inamaanisha nini hoops will see you from far mboya watakuona kutoka mbali <laughs> this is some some insight god is giving me these days are funny but they are so divine now he says you are a sheep among wolves anasema nyinyi ni kondoo miongoni mwa mbweha but then he says kisha anasema you are the light nyinyi ni nuru that means even if you are up the easiest way to see light is to make sure that there is darkness around njia rahisi ya kuona nuru ni kuhakikisha kuna giza it means inamaanisha you be seen even from afar utaonekana hata kutoka mbali you says you are like a sit on a hill akasema pia ni kama mji ulioko mlimani that cannot be hidden ambao huwezi fichika what does that mean hii inamaanisha nini We are not hiding from hoops. Hatujifichi kutokana mbwea. So if we are going to navigate through and prevail and live an effective Christian life. Basi kama tutaweza kuishi maisha ya Ukristo yenye uguzo na yenye matokeo. We need something spectacular. Tunahitaji kitu ambacho ni kitamaa. Deliver us. Ambacho kitakutomoa. From the power of the enemy. Kutokana na nguvu za adui. Nataka kuangalia mwanzako vizuri. Mwangalie mwanzako vizuri. Mwambie the enemy will not get you. Mwambie adui hata kupata. Give me Psalm 66 verse 3. Patia Zaburi 66 mstari wa 3. Psalm 66 verse 3. Zaburi 66 mstari wa 3. Sabe say Lord. Sema Bwana. More power. Nguvu zaidi. Can we read together? Say to God, how I wish him at your works through the greatness of your power. Your enemy shall submit themselves to you. Hey! Now, sasa, the sheep he talked about. Kondoo ambaye alinena kuhusu. The sheep are something. Huyu kondoo ako na kitu. That the hoops. Ambao mboya. Maboya. Maboya. We will submit to. Ambao watatii. You see how Jesus balanced the equation? Aliweza ku imbalance. I said you as a sheep among hoops. Na kutuma kama kondoo miongoni mwa mbwea. But he gave us power. Lakini alitupatia nguvu. That the enemy ili adui will have to submit to. Atatii. But I want to just think about a sheep among hoops and the sheep does it have an advantage a powerless sheep nataka ufikirie kondoo miongoni mwa mbwe ana huyu kondoo hana nguvu yoyote the way atamalizwa asubuhi bila tararuliwa asubuhi i want to see when samson lost power what happened to him within less a few hours nataka uone kile kilimtendekea samson alipotokwa na nguvu he lost his eyes alipoteza macho yake that means He lost vision. Alipoteza kuona kwake. He lost direction. Alipoteza mwelekeo. The man literally within a very short time it was from grace to grass. Kwa muda mfupi ilikuwa ni kutoka kwa neema hadi kwa nyasi. But when the power was with him. Lakini wakati alikuepo na nguvu. Ah. It what gave him the advantage. Ndio ambaye ilimpatia faida. It what gave him the power to rule or the audacity to be in charge. Ndio ilimpatia ujasiri wa kuwa katika utawala. My dear ones. We need spiritual power. Tunahitaji nguvu ya kiroho. For we to enjoy dominion. Ili tufurahie utawala. Say to God. Sema kwa Mungu. How great and awesome. Ni maajabu aje kazi yako. Are your works through the greatness of your power your enemies shall submit themselves kupitia nguvu kupitia ukuu wa nguvu yako adui watajitiisha wenyewe now the lord says bwana anasema the month of june mwezi wa sita the lord said the month of june bwana alisema mwezi wa sita it is our month and a season for open doors and gates ni wakati wetu na majira yetu ya milango kufunguka na malango we need the power tunahitaji nguvu for these doors to open ili hii milango ifunguke pastor dan gave a powerful statement here on friday night as he was preaching pastor dan alisema usemi wa nguvu hapa ijumaa kiubiri that the fact that it is time 
for open doors it doesn't mean they will just open kwamba kwa sababu ni wakati wa milango kufunguka haimaanishi itafunguka tu hivyo i give an example with elijah na kapena mfano na elijah elijah knew it is time for the rain elijah alijua ni wakati wa mvua and because he knew that na kwa sababu alijua hivyo he kept on insisting in prayer alikaa akingotea kwa maombi so what does that mean hii inamaanisha nini The fact that it is our season for open doors. Vile inasema ni wakati wetu wa majira ya milango kufunguka. You need to know. Unahitaji kwa on the other side. Kwa upande ule mwingine. They are saying. Wanasema it is the season to shut the door. Ni majira ya kufunga milango. But through the greatness of our God's power. Lakini kupitia ukuu wa nguvu ya Mungu wetu. Our enemies will submit. Maadui wetu watatii. I wish you ever heard me. Through the greatness. Kupitia ukuu of the power of our God. Ya nguvu ya Mungu wetu. Which is the power of a believer. Hai ni nguvu ya muumini. The enemies will have to submit. Maadui watatii. I announce in the name of Jesus. Sasa kwa jina la Yesu. Any austerity and the influence. Kila pingamizi na kizuizi. Against your destiny. Kinyume na hatima yako. Against your door. Kinyume na milango yako. That needs to open. Ambaye inahitaji kufunguka. And that this anointing. Jini ya upako huu. I declare. Natangaza. The enemy will have to submit. Adui atachi. The influence will submit. Kizuizi kitachi. Resistance will submit. Pingamizi itachi. Warriors will submit. Kizuizi kitachi. Jericho doors. Malango ya Jericho. That have been shut. Ambaye imekuwa Will have to submit. I wish you are amen is louder. I declare under this anointing. Any power that has been resisted. Your progress by the power of the Holy Ghost. Any will submit. Somebody say yeah. I declare in the name of Jesus. Milango ya biashara. It is opening. Doors of wealth. Doors of miracles. Signs and wonders. Doors doors are opening. As I'm speaking right now. Somebody in the name of Jesus. You are receiving a miracle healing. Somebody that is here. You are contacting a breakthrough. Somebody shout yeah. I want to tell your neighbor they will submit. Nataka mwambie mwenzako watatii themselves. Watajitisha wenyewe. Oh, please have a seat. Please give us Joshua 6. Tupatie Yeshua 6. Why we need this power? Kwa nini tunahitaji hii nguvu? Joshua 6. Yeshua 6. Can we read together? Now Jericho was secure. Shut up because of the children of Israel. Hold on to that. I want to see that. Nataka uone hivi. Now, the children of Israel they are talking of the church. Wana wa Israeli hapo inaongelea kuhusu kanisa. Jericho was not shut because of the Hittites. Jericho haiko imefungwa kwa sababu ya Wahiti. Or Eklonites or Jebusites. Oh these heights 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 parasites now height to height high water and our parasites a parasite it was not shut for for them haiko imefungwa kwa sababu yao but it was specifically shut lakini iko imefungwa hasa sababu ya kanisa kwa sababu ya kanisa sababu ya mkristo kwa sababu ya mkristo Yesu akasema mtachukiwa Yesu akasema mtachukiwa sababu yangu sababu yangu kuna milango itafungwa sababu wewe ni mkristo You see, the area you know that the better. Mapema utajua hivyo itakuwa bora. We are not loved. Hatupendwi. <laughs> we are not loved. Hatupendwi. We are not loved. Hatupendwi. We are not loved. Every Christian should know. Kila mkristo anapaswa kujua. There are signs effects of giving your life to Christ. Kuna matokeo ya kupeana maisha yako kwa Yesu Kristo. Hapa tuko na watu wako kwa medical world kina mama Dush. Dr. Joroge kuna kitu anaitanga side effects. Is it good? 
eh? at side effect ya marara queen ni kubarikiwa sana inakuwa ngumu no side effects ni wakati yani mambo inalipuka unaambiwa ukikunywa hii usiendeshe gari maana utasikia ndizi ni kweli kuna zingine tunakunywa na nasikia masikio yamepotea hiyo nani ka honestly yani unasikia uko sawa lakini unahubiri hata usikii monitors tuombee ubiza how skill skill masikio po side effects madhara so now kuna side effect ya kuokoka kuna madhara pia ya kuokoka there are people that will hate you kuna watu watakuchukia your whole life tapes will even sideline you watu wa jamii yako watakutenga but it just for some time lakini ni kwa muda tu there are people that will just mock you because you have given your life to jesus kuna watu watakudhiaki tu maana umepeana maisha yako but that does not mean lakini haimaanishi that eventually they will not celebrate you pale mwisho yao watakufurahia of course kuna wanakuwa vichwa ngumu mpaka wanaingia njia namu but it, but of course there are those that will hate you just for the time being and after some time once a kuona yenyewe a jesus we need that jesus kuna wale watakudhiaki kwa muda mfupi ni mshoe waone tunahitaji yesu wake so one of the side effect of being in christ moja wapo ya madhara ya kuwa katika kristo there are people that will hate you kuna watu watakuchukia there are people that will mock you that working place kuna watu watakudhiaki mali unafanya kazi they will back bite you because you are born again watakusengenya maana umeokoka they will say oh huyu ni wale wanaenda huko le they they hated jesus walimchukia yesu and he said you hakuna vile if you are a real follower of christ kama wewe ni mfuasi wa kweli wa kristo you can be accepted by everybody hawezi kubalika na kila mtu there are those that will hate you kuna wale ambao watakutia usini men of god doing so well and yet there are people fighting them watumishi wa Mungu ambao wanafanya vizuri sana unakuta kuna watu wanawachukia na kuwapiga kwa nini the devil shetani will always fight kila wakati and atapiga. one way of is warfare against the believer na njia moja yake ya vita kinyume na mkristo to shut their doors ni kufunga milango yao to make sure kuhakikisha nothing good is happening hakuna kitu kizuri kinatendeka because every time god begins to give you a testimony maana kila wakati mungu anaanza kukupatia shuhuda that testimony becomes a weapon hiyo shuhuda inafanyika silaha for instance in the book of john kwa mfano kitabu cha yohana chapter 11 verse 45 sura ya 11 mstari wa 45 when lazarus came back to life lazaro alipofufuliwa tena the bible says biblia inasema then many somebody shout many sema wengi of the jews kisha wengi wa wayahudi and come to mary ambao walikuwa wamekuja kwa maria and then the seen the things jesus did na ambao waliona mambo ambayo yesu alitenda what happened kilitendeka nini wote walimwamini the testimony of lazarus shuhuda wa lazaro became an evangelism tool ikakuwa ni, ni chombo cha kufanya uinjilisti i am praying for somebody here naombea mtu mahali hapa that god will give you a testimony mungu atakupatia shuhuda that will at u shakapa that will turn many to christ haita leta wengi kwa kristo are those not good news everybody wow hey wow they came and believed walikuja na wakaamini give us chapter 12 tupatie sura ya 12 verse 9 i'll show you the other side takuonesha upande wa mwingine when you are celebrating the other side unapofurahia upande wa mwingine now sasa a great many of the jews wayahudi wengi knew that he was there that is jesus wakajua kwamba yesu alikuwepo pale and they came na wakaja not only for jesus sake only sio tu kwa sababu ya kristo but that they might also lakini ili kwamba wawezi kumuona lazaro whom he had raised from the dead ambaye alikuwa amemfufua kutoka wafu you see those are still good news hizo pia ni habari njema the next verse sasa ambao unafuata but lakini when you hear but in every sentence ukisikia lakini katika kila sentence kama umefurahia sana wewe weka breaks kwanza kama uko umefurahia but lakini the chief priests kuhani mkuu plotted wakapanga to put Lazarus to death also the second time yani watu wana kumuua Lazaro mara ya pili the next verse 11 sura 11 this is the reason because maana on account of him kwa sababu yake many of the Jews went away and they believed in Jesus wengi wa wayahudi walimwamini Yesu 
Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. You may say that was in the time of Jesus and the Jews. Waweza sema hiyo ilikuwa wakati wa Yesu na Wayahudi. That happens even today. Hiyo ndio inatendeka hata leo hii. When something good happens in a church. Kitu kizuri kikitendeka kanisani. We are here celebrating. Na tuko hapa tunafurahia. On the other side. Upande ule mwingine. We are plotting how to make sure that testimony is not there. Wanapanga vile watahakikisha huo ushuhuda hauko pale. So when you're shouting open doors open doors. Ukipaza sauti kusema milango imefunguka milango imefunguka. The other side they are saying please make sure no not even one will open. Pande ile mwingine wanajaribu wanangangana kusema hakuna mlango utafunguka. Imagine Lazarus fell sick. Lazaro amegonjeka and died. Na akafa. Jesus comes. Yesu anakuja full of mercy. Akiwa na rehema. Resurrects him. Anamfufua. Somebody. Mtu a religious man not at a time mtu wa dunia mtu wa kidini mtu wa mtu wa kanisa mtu wa kanisa religion dini pastor lai says that religion will take people to hell more than the devil pastor lai anasema dini itapeleka watu wengi jehanamu hata kuliko shetani the chief priest makuhani wale wakuu plotted wakapanga to put Lazarus to death kumuua Lazarus because on his account maana kwa sababu yake many watu wengi of the jews wayahudi wengi went away and believed Jesus. Now what were they preaching? Eh? Now what were they preaching? You see? So what does that mean? A child of God. Mtoto wa Mungu. You need divine power. Unahitaji nguvu ya kiumbe. To make ways for you. Kukutengenezea njia. When you are saying oh lord this is my time i need to get all oh, my testimony oh i need a marriage oh hallelujah all of a sudden a guy comes and you are in niweke patent yo yo on the other kingdom pande hiyo mwingine they are plotting how wanapanga jinsi it you not if hata mta mariza ane mu vile mtu afurahia ndo wain you had the couple in tanzania that went for honeymoon and the boat capsized it was standing to fish meal. Another one was giving me a true testimony the other day. They got married until like 15 years ago. And they went, they, they received the gifts. Oh, gift, gift, gift. One gift they thought it was a microwave. Well wrapped. Guess what was inside? A baby's coffee. A baby's somebody I know. Mtu najua. From my hando. Kutoka mali natoka. A baby's coffee. Jeneza la mtoto. And they opened up after like close to 10 years. No conceiving. Walika kama miaka kumi bila kupata mtoto. And so because Basi. when they saw it they didn't they said they just they even did, didn't take they were not a uh, bit spiritually serious so, so they just said maybe ni kitu tu sawa tu na ndui tu but what does that mean hiyo inamaanisha nini you always see the grave of your children utakuwa unaona kila wakati kaburi la watoto i want to see the world we live nataka uone ulimwengu ambao tunaishi we can't people can be vile watu wanaweza kuwa waovu so we need power to make a way for us. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Jericho was securely shut up because Jericho ilikuwa imefungwa vizuri sana maana of his right. Kwa sababu ya Israel. Give us no even translation and good news version. I want to see the ones used there. Now the gates did we talk did we talk about open gates yes yes they were open now the gates of jericho sasa malango ya yeriko were tightly shut yalikuwa yamefungwa vizuri because kwa sababu because kwa sababu the people were afraid of the israelites watu walikuwa wanaogopa wa israeli no one was allowed to go out or in. Hakuna ambaye alikubaliwa kutoka ama kuingia. Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. You are a threat to some people. Wewe ni tisho kwa watu wengine. The break 
breakthrough of any very genuine church upenyo wa kila kanisa la kweli the breakthrough of every genuine christian upenyo wa kila mkristo wa kweli is a threat in the kingdom of the enemy ni tisho katika ufalme wa adui you are a threat wewe ni tisho that's why many people ndio maana watu wengi Oh shalabagata yata. They face lot of resistance. Wao wanakumbana na pingamizi mingi. And you wonder what did I do? What did I do? What 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 why all this? Why me? Why me? You are a threat. Wewe ni tisho. They said. Walisema. Let us kill Joseph. Wacha tumuue Yusuf. And they see what will happen to his dreams. Na tuone kile kitatendekea ndoto zake. He has dreamt yes. Ameota ndio. Let us eliminate him. Wacha tumalize. And they see what will happen. <laughs> Jericho. Jericho was title gates was tightly shut. Malango yalikuwa yamefungwa vizuri. Because kwa sababu people were afraid. Watu walikuwa wanaogopa of Israelites. Walikuwa wanaogopa wana wa Israeli. I came to announce. Nimekuja nitangaze. Things will happen. Mambo yatatendeka. I mean the resistance. Katikati ya pingamizi. Hey! I mean the resistance. Katikati ya pingamizi. I see the enemy submitting. Naona adui akitii. To the power. Akutii katika nguvu. Now, verses verses 20. Let's go there. Msari wa 20. The Bible says just because of time let's go there. So the priest the priest blew the trumpet. Makuhani wakapiga tarumbeta. As soon as the people heard it they gave a loud shout and the walls collapsed. Mara tu watu waliposikia ile tarumbeta wakapaza sauti na zile kuta zikaporomoka. What made the wall to collapse? Nini ilifanya kuta ziporomoke? The power. Nguvu of the almighty. Ya Mungu mkuu. The children of Israel where the enemy and vowed they will not enter they entered Mali adui alikuwa ameapa hawataingia waliingia Can I declare something here Naweza tangaza kitu Where they vowed you will not enter Mali walipoapa hutaingia By the power of the Holy Ghost You will enter Utaingia By the power of the anointing My dear you will enter By the power of revival You will enter. I declare an open door. An open door. The enemy and shut the door. But the Lord said, He told, he told Joshua. See, I have given you Joshua and the Jericho. That means I have opened the doors for you. I prophesy tonight here. And the power resisting your doors. Holding your doors from opening. Every power fighting your doors. Making sure that your doors will not open. In the name of the risen Christ. In the name of the risen Christ. I announce tonight. In the name of Jesus. You were open it wait. You were on navigate it through. There is a way out. I want to give three people a five. And tell them there is a way out. Give them this testimony. And tell them my dear. Don't you be afraid. We serve a miracle worker and a way maker. Apia yo mwingine. We serve a miracle worker and a way maker. He will make a way. He will make a way. I'm seeing some people here. You are doing business. There will not be a way in Chuka. There will not be a way in Chuka. There will be a way in the country. In that office, I declare you are seated. Is waiting for you. No power will resist you. In that land, full of austerity, I declare there is a way. I am seeing a winding gown 
for a land here. I am seeing a woman here, a pressing on baby, where they said you will never conceive. I declare at the best power in the name of Jesus. Doors are opening. Doors are opening. Doors are opening. Doors are opening. Gates are opening. Walls are collapsing. Walls are collapsing. Delays are breaking. Obstacles are rolling away. Resistance is breaking. Somebody say it is my time. I want to scream. It is my time. It is my time. I am not relenting. It is my time to enter. It is my time to get it. It is my time to become. Nasema, it's my time. I want to throw your hands in the air and declare it's my time. It is my time. By the power of the Holy Ghost, Jericho is giving way. Jericho is opening. Jericho is submitting. My enemies will submit to the greatness of the power of my maker. Somebody glorify Jesus. Ganda la baganda 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 Brando shali apere do sata Reka pagata la bayande Every resisting power Here is bowing Every resisting power The powers of barrenness I declare they are submitting To the power of the Lord Barrenness powers Delays powers In the name of Jesus Bow Resistance Is bowing In the name of Jesus, the spirit of death is losing grip on my you. Rampa gata la bagata. I'm seeing God moving people. From one point to another, it is like there has been a, 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 a war. So, what do I mean of a cloud in one place? They all want to get there. But I see it's like that thing is getting removed. And I see masses of people floating forward. I announce. In the name of the Lord, you attempt to step into new territories. You attempt to step into new dimensions. You attempt to step into new realms of operations. That time is now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every war between you and your ministry. Every war between you and your health. Every war between you and your money. That war is collapsing. Is collapsing by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you by a prayer to clear that war for. Yes, yes. Somebody is praying here. Somebody is praying here. I can see fire, fire, fire. Pray, Kapararusha. Repandele Boyande. Abaganda Baganda. Abaganda Baganda. Abanda Labosha. Abanga Baganda. 
Pashandele Bayenda Pakukukumananus Prateshi Aruka Rekapeketus 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 Somebody pray, 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 pray. Rapanda Lobaganda Declare by this power Every door is opening by this power. Barriers are opening by this power. Resistance is breaking by this power. Harapaganda Bayada Yerepo Shaliaba Psalm 66 verse 3 Prophesy 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 through the greatness of your power your enemies shall submit through the greatness of your power your enemies shall submit through the greatness of the power of the Holy Ghost he branches are submitting what divides the church in Chuka in the name of Jesus I commanded to die I commanded to lack power I I commanded to melt whatever fights the church in this territory by the power of the Lord is bowing now the powers of religion over this county we shoot you down the powers of idol worship we shoot you down the powers of Illuminati we shoot you down the powers of Antichrist in this territory we shoot you down the powers of resistance in this land we shoot you down we override you we override you we override you we overpower you by the blood of Jesus by the blood of Jesus to clear the blood Harapagandaba Apeketekete Apakatakata Apusukutukutu Arakatakatos Arepreketes Apikitikita Apakatukutu Apereketeke Arakapakata 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 Arakapa Yes, yes, yes. The enemy is submitting. Barriers are submitting. He process are submitting. Difficulties are submitting. Challenges are submitting. Obstacles are submitting. Barriers are submitting. By the power of the Almighty. Karusha Kutupa. Karusha Kutupa. Naona vitu zikivandulika. Naona mabu ikibatulika Yes Kanisa inapenya chuka Alelos Kanisa inapenya chuka The church is breaking like the limit Every ceiling Every ceiling Kila pa Over this land Juhu ya ineo hii Against the church Sinyume na kanisa In the name of Jesus Wajina la yesu The ceiling is getting torn Now Kuchika sasa Pakatura Pratesha ragada Thank you, Jesus. Everybody lift up your hands. I decree under this grace in the name of the risen Christ whatever power whatever personality in the spiritual realm or in the physical that has vowed you will not go 
go beyond a certain level in the name of Jesus I announce tonight those resisting powers are submitting to the greatness of the power of the Lord Now listen, one of the powers of the Almighty God that subdues the enemy with ease, of course the mother of it is the power of the Holy Ghost. But there is that another dimension is called the power of the blood of Jesus. You see, some covenants, some delays are as a result of covenants. For instance, anybody coming from a family, people shed innocent blood. There are some resistances they just experience. Or maybe somebody aborted, or maybe, yeah, or just of anything that concerns human blood. Yes, just by just pouring that blood, there is a voice that keeps on claiming or, or pronouncing revenge and attacks over that family or person. When Cain shed Abel's blood, God and the voice of the blood of Abel crying from the ground and he asked where is your brother and he said I hear the blood now Christ comes in Hebrew chapter 12 24 pours his blood and the right of Hebrew says to the mediator our Lord Jesus the mediator of the new covenant because there is no covenant without blood and so many people's delays and the entrances as, are as a result of blood covenants some endless oppositions and resistance we experience are as a result of blood covenants when family people invite a witch and the blood is shed goat blood, chicken blood sheep blood through the shedding of the blood a covenant is established there is an altar established and that altar becomes the point of resistance to the blessings of the family now Christ our father our God comes up with a superior blood the mighty blood the holy blood immaculate blood super powerful blood and he shed the blood and he takes this blood to the throne of the almighty and God says whoever comes under this blood the blood will speak the blood will speak so when you come to Christ the voices of the evil blood are muted are subdued by the potency of the holy blood but for you to enjoy you have got to know that my people are destroyed for they lack knowledge and now when you know you begin declaring by the blood of Jesus every covenant that was entered to cripple my life by this blood those covenants are catching fire and I announce tonight every blood covenant against your marriage against your health against your children against your money every blood covenant against 
witness the breakthrough of the church in Chuka all those covenants we override them by the blood of Jesus by the blood of Jesus by the blood of Jesus I want you to declare by this blood the blood of Jesus power I am breaking through my doors are opening my doors are opening by the blood of Jesus somebody declare by the blood of Jesus doors are opening by the blood of Jesus your doors are opening by the blood of Jesus bring up by the blood of Jesus I'm hearing something is falling on you today by the blood of Jesus by the blood of Jesus every power holding your blessings up by this blood I destroy those powers the blood of Jesus 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 you are free I announce by this blood you are star where will shine by this blood you are star where will shine unto the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel Revelation 12 verses 10 and they overcame they overcame they overcame they overcame the enemy by the blood verse 11 they overcame the blood by the blood they overcame by the blood they overcame by the blood we will make it by the blood the church is rising by the blood our children will have stable jobs and businesses by the blood of Jesus our children will worship the God we serve by the blood of Jesus our businesses will break through by this blood I announce right now by this blood may you win by this blood may you prevail by this blood may you shine by this blood I see salvation in your family by this blood I see you break through by this blood I see you conquer by this blood gates are opening by this blood you are a winning Kapandola Basu Nothing but the blood of Jesus. There is power, 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 wonder working power in the blood. So the Lord Jesus. There is power, 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 wonder working power in the precious blood. So there is power. I want to sing that song for five minutes and then we are done. In the blood. Power. Come on, sing that is power. With an anointing, something 
is happening here. In the prayer, the precious blood, oh, sing, there is power. Walking power in the blood. Oh, the Lord. The Lord is power, 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 in the prayer, blood of the Lord. There is victory, victory, wonder, victory. As you sing that song. Some of you, there is some ministration taking place within your heart now. Victory, victory, what I want to do in the precious blood of the Lord. There is power, power, what I want to do in the blood. Pandolobo Sharia Rakapaka Daba Sutuma Somebody cry for the blood. Shandula Pakades. Every covenant breaking. The blood of Jesus sets you free. Madera Parushata. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus keeps you a testimony. Kadusha la Padusa, Repradesh Katuska, Rekapagadesha, Paratanta la Pusa.
that blood. We are raising healing. Healing. Doors are opening here. Barriers are opening. Can I pray for Mugendi Mug and your mom, mom, please? Yeah, just come over. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Right on this altar. Please. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. Rapakata Sakataya. Ya Pandu Shatubagada. Naona kuna nguvu katika ulimwengu wa giza. Zimekuwa zinapigana na maisha yenu. Zinapigana na kuinuka kwenu. Zinapigana mpaka na the same powers fighting you. Bando zinapigana na watoto wenu. To make sure they don't become what has been the cry and the desire of your heart. But tonight. Tonight. Today the six the, 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 the sixth month of the year 2022 and the fifth day of the month by the power of the Holy Ghost let me give me some oil some oil just bring it I wanna tell you what I'm hearing I'm seeing the road the closed road opening Mulangwa mbao ni fungwa. Mulangwa mbao ni fungwa. Unaenda kufunguka. Unaenda kufunguka. By this anointing, the closed road, Sharapa Gadabagata, on this altar, I travel to your home. I travel to wherever your children are and your grandchildren. In the power holding them, by the blood of Jesus, I paralyze it, and every power fighting you is hereby broken by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing upon my head, I override the principality of your family in the name of Jesus, the strong man. The strong man that have been fighting your destiny and fighting your life. That is satanic strong man by the anointing upon my life. I overpower that power now. In the name of Jesus. I sprinkle the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I uproot every power fighting your life today as a prophet, as an apostle of Christ representing the kingdom of heaven. I overpower every satanic power. Brother Steve, can I pray for you? Yes, Steve, I want to pray for you. I'm just adding my spirit. God is giving you rest. Rest which means victory. I don't know. But God is giving you breakthrough. God is setting you into a season of laughter. Parusha days. You have, you have gone through a lot. Secretly, publicly, privately. Parusha katus katandaba. Pray the Lord say, tell him, tell him, I've seen his struggles. Shantupa Katuska, Rekapadusa. This year will be a different year. This year will be a different year. This the remaining seven months of this year, you will operate at a, at a new dimension of glory what you have fought for years for years not one not two years rekandu satipa gitoska bangutari antuse di antuse abikatuza 
Rakapa katazia ruka. Apandula paseteria tuka. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I establish your victory today. In the name of Jesus. Every power in the secret place. That has been deployed. To rob you. Satisfaction. Fulfillment. Yes. Satisfaction. Fulfillment in life. Those powers. I override them tonight. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The name of Jesus Christ. You are free. Go and rejoice. Let give Jesus a praise. A clap and victory. A clap of victory and praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost.